here's an example of a function that has some bumps and dips. Clearly there's a bump right about here and a dip down here. Now we can't possibly use such simple terms like a bump or a dip to describe these places mathematically. Mathematically these are called the relative maximum. So this one up here is a relative maximum and the one on the bottom is a relative minimum. Now you can probably just think of these as bumps and dips but what really makes them a bump or a dip? For instance, if we look at this relative maximum, is this the very highest point on the graph? Well, since the graph continues to go up on the right-hand side, it's not the very highest point. Although sometimes relative maximums are the very highest point. And the relative minimum is not the very lowest point because the graph goes down even lower far on the left. Now what's really going on here is a relative maximum is the highest point on the graph in a neighborhood nearby. So if I were to say this is the neighborhood I'm talking about, this point is higher than any other points in that neighborhood. And if I was talking about a neighborhood down here, this point is the very lowest in that neighborhood. If we're looking for a relative or local minimum for F, then when we look at the points that are nearby the local minimum, all those F values are greater than or equal to the F values at that point. So for a local maximum, the point is higher than the ones nearby, and for a local minimum, the point is lower than the ones nearby. So that gives us the idea of the bump and the dip.